and I searched about Liverpool. So it was about one of the topmost university in uh, London. Or if I went to like in class for the MBA, uske liye to, it would have costed me at least forty lakhs. Oh, okay. And they were giving me same course in five lakhs. Oh, nice. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel and in this video we are going to talk to Gajima who has completed her MBA from Upgrad from actually Liverpool, UK. So Gajima, welcome to our channel. Hi Richa, thank you for having me. Yeah, no worries. Um, let's get started and the first question I wanted to ask is what motivated you for MBA and I, I want to know like why did you even go for MBA while you were you know, working and you are a full-time mom as well, I know. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there is a very big and very solid reason behind that. So first of all, thank you very much again for having me on this portal. And uh, I would like to give my introduction a bit uh, so that I can uh, uh, explain the context behind doing MBA well. So I am Garima Srivastava and I have total 12 years of experience in IT. At present, I work as Agile Project Manager in one of the topmost healthcare firm. And uh, I actually wanted to uh, go for product management uh, jobs in one of the top five MNCs. And when I looked at their JD, MBA was the must have. So mm -hmm. for that, uh, I was like, why not to go for it? And I didn't have a very solid uh, tech background. So very often I used to get asked in the interviews that you don't have proper education related to the job that you wanted to go for. Then uh, I was like, OK, then why not to go for it? Let's do it. It's a matter of two years. But mm -hmm. the challenge there was... Uh, uh, having a full-time job, I have two babies too. So I was like, uh, now how would I go for it? Because I don't have time to go for full-time class. Then thankfully, I saw this upgrad channel and then they had been very much helping uh, related to that. When I asked all the questions, how would I go for it? And uh, they sorted all the questions and this is how I went for MBA. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Um, tell me, tell us more about Upgrad. What is Upgrad, and how does it help you for MBA? And how did uh, like how did it help you actually? Yeah. So I uh, opted for online MBA, and that was from Upgrad Liverpool Business School. Mm -hmm. And uh, Upgrad actually provides us very good learning platform to go for the courses that we want, whether it is about MBA or AMTEC or it is about any other fascinated degree related to data analysis or artificial intelligence or doing doctorate. And I'm not from uh, upgrad, uh, you know, sales team, to be very mm -hmm. honest. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually sharing my own experience ki haan kya hua tha. तो अपग्रेड पे पहले तो मुझे कॉल आया वहां के बंदों का और उन्होंने बोला कि हां की चूंकि आप एक्सपीरियंस्ड हो तो आपको हम लोग कुछ स्कॉलरशिप देंगे तो आई वाज लाइक ओके फिर उन लोगों ने बताया कि ये लिवरपूल बिजनेस स्कूल है एक यहां से है और एक दूसरा ऑस्ट्रेलिया से डीकिंस यूनिवर्सिटी का था okay. तो डीकिंस है तो आपके पास दो ऑप्शन है आप किससे एमबीए करना चाहोगे तो मैंने देखा पूरा एक डीकिंस का था एक इसका था तो मुझे थ्योरेटिकल ज्यादा नॉलेज चाहिए थी and I searched about Liverpool, so it was about one of the topmost university in uh, London. Or mm -hmm. if I went like, in class for MBA, uske liye to, it would have costed me at least 40 lakhs. Oh, okay. And they were giving me same course in 5 lakhs. Oh, nice. Yeah, just because it's MBA. So I'm very thankful to them that they provided me this channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I opted for this course and uh, they then told me it's a dual degree. It is from IMT Gajiabad and then Liverpool. And at the end of the course, you would get a chance to visit campus mm -hmm. and get some classes, face-to-face -face classes from the professors there in mm -hmm. immersion. I was oh, like, wow. wow. Yeah, I will yeah. get a free free tour to London and UK. <laughs> so and this was all included in 5 lakh? Yeah, this was all included in five lakhs that times. I I had enrolled in uh, 2022, April 2022. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so I opted for the course, and with babies, I was a bit worried. I have two kids, so I was like, uh, "How would I get time to, uh, you know, study for a MBA and then do the job too?" But thankfully, their learning management system was well organized. Mm-hmm. They had different six inch for that, and they had given us time. Like, let's say if there is one assignment. then for that they would give you two uh, weeks in advance now it is up to you like when whether you can study on weekends or you can study one hour every day that that is based on your own preference so that was quite flexible so i like that approach mm-hmm. and uh, yeah started with that one by one and the classes were regular there were online sessions they had provided us mentors who were helping me throughout the course and they have a tech support team that uh, gets back to you in 2 hours sometimes mm-hmm. it happened that they didn't reply in 2 hours and people were very frustrated mm-hmm. and uh, they have a uh, uh, different uh, groups like uh, whatsapp groups and telegrams for uh, mm-hmm. for the communication so there are a lot of positive noise and negative noise both so if you concentrate on study so online is all about being uh, you know self proactive so mm-hmm. if you are organized you want to learn then it's fine if you are just copy pasting the questions in the google and putting the answering you know then you will not learn yeah that I that hope. makes sense for sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, uh next I wanted to ask about your yeah, of course you t- talked about it, but I do want to know like how I I understand that you are a full-time mom and you have a full-time job also. And you said that it's it was an online course. So, like what was the timings like like when you had to go for online classes and was there any face-to-face classes as well before you went to UK or was it only online? and yeah yeah tell us about your time management and how did you manage it with two babies and a full time job yeah so it was not uh, fully online i would say it was hybrid uh, oh. the classes were yeah classes were online and oh. after the class in immersion class we got a chance to interact with the professors face to face and oh. that was quite good so i would not it say it was fully online Sorry, I'm sorry to uh, interrupt you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, the immersion class you're saying that was when you came to UK, right? Or was yeah. it when, mm-hmm. when you were in Bangalore itself? Then I came to UK. Okay, came so initially, UK. for how many years yes. you were in Bangalore? So the entire course is like online only, but mm-hmm. at the end you get a chance to interact with the Liverpool uh, professors too. So mm-hmm. I would say honestly, if you compare this degree with you know. Uh, uh with some of the top most mbas in india like iim or other you know in mumbai amity and all so it is it is not that good for the freshers if i say but mm-hmm. if you are a working person and you are yeah. already working as executive and you want a good career growth or you want to start your own business and you want to actually learn about business then it is a good platform i would say okay yeah. and what was the time duration like how long you had the like for how how many years probably for it was year right so for how yeah. many it went and it after was which... for two years okay it was for two years uh, one year was with imt gaziabad classes were from imt gaziabad and we okay. got a post graduate diploma in business after and this was the... online online all okay. online and they had a application that is learning management system into okay. that they had different uh, uh, sections about finance about business strategy mm. and about marketing hr everything was there in uh, year 1 and mm. year it was through liverpool and mm. we got liverpool you know is uh, university email id and we okay. got a uh, access to their libraries and uh, then we got a chance to you know interact with their person too so uh, overall it was a very good uh, learning system but that's what i'm telling here is you have to be organized i'm telling that again and again you have to you know yeah. have that approach of learning because it is online there is no one you know going on on top of your head and then say are bhai kaam kiya ki nahi aapka assignment hua ki nahi aapne sikha ki nahi wo class mein wo jo beizzati hoti hai wo sab kuch nahi hai aapne kiya to kiya nahi kiya to you will not be noticed so it is totally up to you you have to be very much organized yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i understand matlab 
ऑनलाइन है तो इसका मतलब ये नहीं मतलब यू कैन गेट अवे राइट अभी आपके पास फुल टाइम जॉब है यू हैव किड्स तो ऑनलाइन देर कुड बी चांसेस दैट यू कैन गेट अवे लाइक अरे यार करेगा वॉट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट यू हैड्स ऑफ टू यू माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन would be around the courses you said right like marketing and hr like do you have to select one domain uh, later on like how, how was that about what was the courses like and uh, which domain did you choose for okay so initially yeah in year 1 we had two uh, main uh, subjects to choose and mm-hmm. i chose in finance and marketing so mm-hmm. that is totally that is uh, like general mbas are there so it is up to you you want to go for hr you can go for hr or data analytics or anything that you want you can choose they have different options for that mm-hmm. i have chosen marketing and hr and mm-hmm. in the second year there was not much learning it was all about writing the thesis mm-hmm. and uh, subject you had to choose and it was you know basically about the data analytics and the research and uh, we had got a mentor who used to suggest us so thankfully i had got very good mentor from a university in punjab and he guided me well you know how to go for the research and uh, how to actually write a thesis i had never written a thesis okay. so yeah overall uh, it went well so tell tell me more about this mentor like how did you approach him and um uh, so abgrad had provided me the mentor oh. and they have uh, different levels of mentors it's like uh, there was one in imt gajabad the buddy kind of and then for thesis there was so the buddy had uh, like one buddy for 40 50 student mm-hmm. then there was one on one mentor for uh, writing the thesis and uh, after that uh, there are uh, there was meant for writing the resume and having the 360 degree career feedback and you know and you know actually when you are studying you have no idea in which field you have to go i was pretty clear about my goals but there are students who had no idea you know what to do after mba so mm. they and they used to guide them okay you have interest in this so you then you can approach for the jobs in this area i'm not very sure about the jobs like how many jobs who got but yeah overall approach was really good and uh, i appreciate it okay so as you talked about the job so i would want to ask you that how did it help you in your current role and uh in your current company and do you plan to switch based on your degree how, how did it help you in your career actually it did help me in a way so i was initially working as a technical writer and i mm-hmm. wanted to get a role in management job so i was looking out for something and my resume was not getting shortlisted so the moment i you know start my resume with couple of good job responsibilities mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, the mba degree uh, i start getting calls i even i have got call from uh, microsoft and google too but mm-hmm. i could not select that but uh, yeah i'm trying for that my best yeah. okay so it is, it's not a scam there are i have got like i made a couple of uh, uh youtube videos for that and i got so many questions regarding whether this degree is a scam or not oh, so okay. degree, yeah is best recognized and it is not a scam no okay. it's not yeah but learning is totally up to you you have to juggle around you have to write the notes you have to learn it and you have to you know uh modify your resume accordingly you have to look at the job description and then match the things that you studied and uh, one very good thing that i wanted to tell which are about the course is like mm-hmm. they had given us five projects from harvard business school oh wow yeah and uh, we had certain case studies to go through that and that was a you know once in a lifetime uh, learning experience wow sounds like you had a lot of Yeah, and yeah, yeah thanks right to our grad people. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, the next question I want to ask about your immersion program. You said you went to UK. Wow. How was that and what was your experience and how did it go? Yeah, Richa, that was the best thing. Best thing, best thing. I could not imagine that a grad would be that helpful. Mm. So, yeah. 
So our my uh, immersion program started at the end of the second year of MBA. And uh, for that, the tickets were organized from them. The mm-hmm. hotels were organized from them. And throughout the 10 days journey, uh, there was a mentor who was guiding us very closely. So I was like... Uh, hotel honge, sharing mm. hoga, students ke share karna padega, aur main vegetarian hoon, to khane ko milega ki nahi sahi the. <laughs> Bahut sare questions aare the. Fir wahan pe jaungi to professors kaise wo karenge approach kyunki abhi to ye online hai to they would uh, you know respect our thoughts or not or value us or not. So there were a lot of you know questions that was coming in my mind. But uh, when I finally opted for it and I went to uh, Liverpool for uh, this immersion program, it was awesome, outstanding. So I'll tell you, like I had started my journey from Bangalore. Mm -hmm. The best part of the immersion was apart from, you know, going to UK and getting learning was networking. I got some very good friends throughout the journey and uh, they are actually great minds. They have achieved a lot in their life. So I I got a chance of networking. That was like very good thing. And uh, then from Bangalore, I went to London. And uh, in London, uh, I was, the moment I was dropped, there was a cab that was uh, arranged for from upgrad to drop us from London airport to Liverpool. So oh. that was good thing. Yeah. And there was a mentor who was waiting for us at the airport. And uh, then uh, we collected the bag. And after that, the mentor, actually, uh, he took us uh, to the cab and then uh, he provided us food. I was like, this is so touchy. It's like India thing. <laughs> so we, <laughs> yeah, so we we got the bags, you know, we got dinner and there was water. Everything was, you know, closely monitored. I liked it. And the bus was very clean and the uh, mentor was uh, very much patient. He was asking and he asked if we are comfortable and uh, there was proper support. Then we went to the hotel by four o'clock in the morning. And I was like, Ab Gandhi hotel milenge. <laughs> 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 hotel is very good. Very good. Very yeah. Nice. I, yeah, I got separate room and yeah. um, it was uh, near to the university. And uh, yeah, and after that, next day by seven o'clock, our mentor was at the hotel gate and he had already asked us to get ready. And then we went to the class. And when we went to the class, there was everything, uh, you know, priorly organized. You know, the professors were waiting for us. The dean of business school was waiting for us to welcome us. And there was proper breakfast and lunch provided. And they had asked us if you are veg or non-veg. And so, thankfully, veg options were also there. <laughs> so, yeah, it was very good experience. Then we had the full day classes. Now, again, I'm saying here, if you are there, then go and learn. Attend the classes. And after that, you go to visit. Half yeah. of the students, they bumped the classes and they went to <laughs> visit. <laughs> I, I understand, you know, the excitement. Oh, we are in such a beautiful city, Liverpool. We have a lot to cover. But you have gone once in a lifetime for study. The visiting things can come again. But you have to just be patient and, you know, you are representing your country. So you better learn there and, uh, you know, uh, complete all the assignments that they are giving. There were a lot of interactive sessions that we did. And there were some great minds we got a a chance to talk to. So, yeah, it boosted my confidence like anything. And um, after the one-week program was over, I had asked them, I wanted to visit my sisters uh, in London. So I had requested them to, you know, uh, uh, to organize the dates, uh, to ship the dates, returning dates accordingly. And they did that, thankfully. So there were some people who returned after three months. There oh. were people who had their private jet ready after the class. <laughs> they just wanted to do MBA for the sake of doing MBA. And oh, there were some students too who were very, actually very much worried, okay, abhi MBA ho gaya, abhi kya karenge. So, yeah. har tarah ke log the. And it was a really good experience. And people were very much warm and professional. And, uh, and um, uh, I had very good times. So, yeah. Wow, sounds like a really good package, right? Yeah. 
एमबीए भी हो गया और उसके साथ साथ अच्छा खासा यूट्यूब ट्रिप भी हो गया वेरी नाइस और बहुत सारे लोगों से इंटरेक्ट किया अच्छी बुक्स अच्छी सेशंस मिले और उनका जो लर्निंग मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम है उसका एक्सेस लाइफ टाइम का रहता है तो कोई भी प्रोग्राम करते हैं of course so they they had exam um, so after every semester mm. there was a semester exam and then final year exams there were a lot of assignments so it was a proper curriculum mm. and i did get a lot of questions related to this too so thank you for asking this uh what had happened uh, it's not like you go to the exam you get questions you have to write the answers and then come out like regular exam schedules it wasn't like that mm-hmm. uh how it was it was divided in certain assignments so let's mm-hmm. say for year 1 there are two assignments that would have some marks and then the exam okay. so assignment were organized in a way you know so that you can at least pass the exam So okay. if you are honestly doing the assignment, ah, uh, you ah uh, would be ready to you know to go for the exam and pass it well. Okay. And ah, uh, uh, the curriculum that they have provided, if you go through all those videos and uh, you listen the lectures of the professors again, then mm-hmm. exam is not difficult. And there are both kind of questions that is multiple choice and uh, theoretical question. Both kind of questions were there. Okay. and i was uh, easily able to get good marks into that so okay. i don't think it's very very tough or something okay so what was the assignment like okay so assignment were uh, basically about the research or about any topic or uh, uh, let's say if uh, it is related to some analysis then you have to you know record your thinking on that and then oh. uh submit that and then they would uh, tell us their approach related to that so i have made couple of videos in this channel related to oh, assignment okay. you go through uh, whenever you want to yeah even final liverpool uh, mba assignment is uploaded couple of more people are going through that so you can go through that okay we will will link all those uh, yeah, all the assignments this, then yeah yeah sure. in this channel in this video okay cool uh Yeah, I think I don't have any other questions, Kaima. Um, I know you, you had received a lot of inquiry about it. If you have anything else to share, please do let us know. Sure. So one question was related to job, uh, like, uh, uh, is a grant actually placing the people or not? So mm-hmm. I did see that there were career placements, but as I was already working and the placement salary package was quite low. Like four lakhs to ten lakhs between that it was. So mm. I didn't go for it, but mm. okay. it does support career plus placement. You have to study, prepare well for your resume, and then go for it. Okay, um, uh, I had asked this as well, but I do an. I, ah, yeah. I do you know I do know that you are working as a product manager in a company, right? Ah, uh, it's both like fifty percent project, fifty percent product management. Okay, What? so like I can understand software. the switch from technical writer to a product manager would have been really mm-hmm. difficult, and I understand that uh, MBA from a grad would have helped you for sure. That's right, very true. It yes, is. yes. So yeah. I do want to let our viewers know that this upgrad program for MBA is really no scam. Awesome. Yeah, it's really awesome. awesome, and you can get really good learning, and you can switch from doing like technical writer to a product manager, which is pretty cool. Congratulations yeah. for that! Thanks. Thanks, Rita. It was nice talking to you. Yeah, thanks. Um, uh, and I do want to tell our viewers to go through the links in the description for more information. And if you have any comments, then let us know in the comment. And Garima will personally reply to those comments because it's our channel, actually. 
So please subscribe. <laughs> uh, yes, please do subscribe, like, and share it with your friends if they also want to go for MBA. This is a really good course. Thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day. Bye bye. Bye.